Hey, welcome back to Grit and Gumption. I have been so busy, you guys. You have no idea, but I'm getting back in the swing of things. I've got videos going out again on Homestead Her. If you missed Homestead Her, there will be a short video out, and you can kind of learn what's going on or what has been going on. But anyway, I want to let you know, I'm so excited. My sister and I, Charlotte, of course, um, we've come up with a new plan. <laughs> so we're excited about it. We're going to do a little roadside, roadside stand, but we're going to do it all around the year. Um, and we're going to try to put things in it that are healthy for you, um, that are good for you, that are wholesome, and um, have a really good variety of different things. Um, produce, um, my beard balm, and salves, and uh, soaps, and... Um, roll-on little things, you know, those little essential oil roll-oners, and uh, just all kinds of different things in there. I think we're going to have bath salts in there. We're going to have um, oh, just all kinds of stuff. It's just wonderful. I'm going to sell our eggs in there. Um, we've got a license to do that. We decided what color we wanted our stand to be. We came up with a name for it, which I like a lot. Um, we'll say what it is right now, just in case we decide to change it, because we haven't really had a whole bunch of time to talk about it, because she went on vacation. So, <laughs> she'll be back, like, later today, and we'll talk about it then, uh, like, tomorrow, probably. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm real excited about it. I love to make aprons, absolutely love to make aprons, and I've made them for years. Um, I don't know whether it's the nostalgia of it all, or the fact that my grandmother wore an apron, I don't know if it was um, just, I don't know, the way they look. You know, they look old-fashioned. They look like they come from a slower time. You know what I mean? When when time moved slower. And I like that. I like I like it. It reminds me of when things are more wholesome, more, more um, homemade, more time was given to things, you know? It just makes me happy, and I love to make beautiful aprons. I'm, I love to make them so that you, when you get it and you put it on, you're like, oh, I just love this thing, you know? I'm also going to make some egg aprons, you know, for those of us who have chickens and they want to go collect eggs. Some people like those. I particularly don't like them. They're okay to make. They're fun to make, uh, the apron, but um, it's not a good idea to put your <laughs> eggs in an apron. Um, not if you're really working on a farm or a homestead and doing all the things that it entails because you're too busy doing other stuff. You're going to crush your eggs. That's just a given. I'm telling you. But anyway, besides that, some people do, and I guess they only have chickens out, you know, in their backyard. That's all they do. You know, um, they're not taking care of rabbits and, um, just all kinds of other things, bees and you name it. There's something going on working in the garden or whatever. But anyway, there's always something going on, and I have way too much going on to wear an apron for eggs. And if I'm going out and getting eggs, I'm doing 50 million other things, too. So on that trip, I'm not just, you know, going and getting eggs and coming back. That's the way it is, and I prefer a basket anyway. Okay, well, anyway, I just want to get with you guys and let you know all the things that are changing. Um, I had my aunt and uncle came and visit for a while and that was wonderful to see them. I so enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, that was like a total surprise. Had no idea they were coming. No idea. He, they didn't tell mom and dad nothing. They just showed up in the middle of the night. It was so wonderful all the way from North Carolina to Indiana in case you don't know where I'm at. So um, that was wonderful. We had the best time visiting and talking. I just loved it. And my other uncle got to come over and visit with us, you know. So that was so fun. So, fu so fun. I loved it. Um, and if you guys are watching, hey, Gloria and Wayne, love you guys. Love all of you down there in North Carolina. So we did that. And then um, I've been really busy with mom and dad. Um, they've been going through some changes in life. Things have been a little harder lately. And dad fell like three times last week. So we're <laughs> just trying to make sure that everything is cool over there. And we did get him a haircut, though. His hair is getting long. When I was younger, well, you know, back in the 70s, Dad kind of had a little bit of long hair, and it was uh, cool. You know, it wasn't real long, but he had beautiful hair anyway, and uh, his hair was getting pretty long again, and I'm like, so I told Charlotte, I said, get over there, cut his hair, he's, he's going crazy, he can't stand it anymore, and so she finally got over there, and boy, she buzzed it good, <laughs> but at least he's cool, because it's hot right here right now, it's really humid and hot, so... Um, I got to go outside and get some things done, but I am getting ready to start on a video here in about an hour for Homestead Her. So if you want to watch anything on canning, 
I'm going to do a video for that and it'll be up probably tomorrow. Um, and if you want to watch what's been going on in my life, you can also watch the video that I just posted on Homestead Her, just so you know. And then I'm going to start putting stuff back on um, biscuits and gravy, I think, just because it'll give you like the behind the scenes what's really going on in my life type thing if you were if you want to know and if you're interested in that but anyway charlotte and i with this little homesteader little side little i don't know what you call it roadside stand type thing i cannot wait it's gonna be a ball it's gonna be a total ball and i'm gonna come up with a new uh beard balm for it too and i'm also gonna make beard balm kits which i have never done before but I have all the stuff to do it. So it'll have like a beard balm in it and a beard oil in it and then a comb for your beard. So I think that'll be kind of fun. And especially in the holidays coming up, it'll be fun. People can swing by and uh, get that. When the winter comes, we're going to back it up off the road a little bit so that you can actually pull in the driveway and park the car and take a little bit of time, you know. Um, anyway, it's just going to be fun. I just cannot wait. And if you don't know, I got a cat. <laughs> I needed a mouser, so I went and got a cat, and she is a cat that has been orphaned, basically. Um, there was something to get into the barn and eat and a bunch of cats, so uh, there's only a couple left, and she's so little. She's only a month old. She's little, so I've been having to feed her at night, and I've um, been having to use a little syringe to do it, and she fought me last night. Boy, she didn't want to do it, but she's finally like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Because she's hungry. So she's like, for now, she's like, oh, she's going for it. Um, and I haven't had a cat in years. I didn't want to get a cat, but you got to do what you got to do. And I need a mouse or so. And she's starting to squall a little bit because she's getting hungry. So I have to go feed her. But anyway, I just wanted to update you and let you know, now is a good time to go get mullion. If you haven't picked any to put in a tincture or something, go get some. It's out there everywhere. Take advantage of what you can get your hands on while you can. I'm going to make a tincture later today. And maybe I'll put a video about that. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I do um, plan on putting a video out about cooking again. So I got a really good recipe, like I said. You guys stay tuned. And check out Homestead Her if you want. Bye.